Hi guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Feed the Beast Let's Play. Uh, I have just come back to my world. As you can see I have now got a house. Uh, I spent a lot of time between episodes making this. Um, the whole of the ceiling is made out of basalt... Um, what is this stuff? Basalt, basalt, basalt... Chiseled stone and paved slabs. Uh, but I made these by using this little sapphire hand sword, which you make with three sticks, two iron and sapphire, but you can also make a diamond one. Uh, I think that's the highest tier you can get. You can get diamond. I think the lowest is probably iron. Uh, but yeah, so this took me ages to make. As you can see, I set up a little room for my fun craft. Zycraft's had an update, but it's not in the Direwolf pack yet, but I still installed it. I could not resist because it's the machine update, so it is going to be bloody awesome. So, yeah, the texturing on the crystals has changed, and it is a lot more high definition. As you can see, I've been mining. Not got a whole load of resources, but I've got quite a few. So, I've got three diamonds... So I can make a pickaxe there. Uh, yeah, I've still got Greg Tech installed. Uh, I had to upload uh, update. Uh, what was it? What did I update? I had to update Zycraft and Forgecraft. But the Direwolf packs had an update since I last recorded, and the new version of Mistcraft's in as well, which is awesome. I've played on it, and it is great. So, yeah, so all of these goodies, all 57 pages of them. So, these are the new Zycraft blocks. We have soil, water, uh, not sure what that is, basin, something like that. But uh, I'm not sure what some of these do. I know the valve is to make a light a tank and that. Uh, you've got... Zycraft water, which acts like a water block in Minecraft, apart from it's actually a block block. And you've got soil, which helps trees and like sugarcane and stuff grow a lot quicker, depending on how many you got underneath each other. So that is cool. Uh, yeah, so house looks pretty awesome. Skelly there. But as you can see, I'm on low health. Uh, health? No. Hunger. So I'm going to get myself some corn kettles, which you get from just harvesting grass. And I'm going to stick them in the furnace, and they will cook up. You can also, I think, use bone meal on these to uh, make them. But yeah, so you put the corn kettles in, and you get popcorn, which is what you'd sort of expect from cooking corn kettles. Uh, pork. Yeah. There! No. <sighs> Corn kettles. <sighs> Jeez. Yeah, they don't give you a whole lot of food, but they give you this little buff of speed, so... Run a little bit quicker for a little while. But anyway, I'm going to get started with this episode. So, yeah. The first thing I'm going to do today, I'm going to get myself some ink sacks. I'm also going to get myself free glass. Yeah, free glass. And I don't think I found a chicken yet. Damn. Uh, I don't actually think I need one. Yes, I do. I need two. Right. I need two chickens. So I'm going to get my... S oh, no. I've already got a sword. What am I doing? I haven't got full hunger yet, but... You know. Is that a film craft totem I see? A lot of sheep. Uh... Yeah, so I've been practicing. Ah, here's chickens. I've been practicing some of the uh, mods off on another single player world, and I've got quite far. I think I'll do the same on this as I have done on that, and set up power generation using lava from the Nether. It's it drains a lot of the lava lake, well, lakes. Come here, you. But it also 
gives you hell a lot hell, hell of a lot of energy. My mouth is not working today. It gives you hell of a lot of energy. So I'm gonna eat these popcorns. Ah, actually I can cook up some chicken while I'm waiting. I like that buff, but you know. And you can also eat these without actually needing to eat them. It's just for the buff. So Chickens. Chicken, chicken, chickens. There you go. Right, so I'm going to go in my crafting table and I'm going to make this glass into three glass bottles. I'm then going to put a glass bottle in, put an ink sack in, and put a feather in to make these scribbling tools. Now, scribbling tools, if you've got two tables together, you uh, right click on the left one and it will make a it will join the two together and make a research table for Fullcraft. So that is awesome. I'll show you what that does in a few minutes. But the next thing you want to do is... Actually, I've already got some. If you get some gold and you make it into golden nuggets, and then you get one of these crystals which are found anywhere in um, underground, just randomly generate like most ores, I will get a earth shard. You can use these for other things as well, but we'll get to that later on. Uh, crafting table. Yeah, so I need a stick. Stick from there. And then you put the stick in the middle. You put a crystal at the top right, and you put a golden nugget at the bottom left. And you'll get a wand of the apprentice. Now, if you've got a normal table, you can right click with the Wand of the Apprentice. As you can see at the bottom, um, there's a little bar filling up saying how much V's it's got, or V, whatever it is. So it's got 32, 33, just above my hunger bar. As soon as that's fully charged, you don't have to wait till it's fully charged, but it's a cool little thing that tells you how much V you've got in it. So if I right click on this normal plain table, it will turn into a crafting table, but this is an arcane uh, work table, I think. I think that's what it's called. And you can make specific magic -y stuff. And you'll see there's a little wand icon here because you need the wand for certain things. And it'll also show the wand up on the top. So that's awesome. Now, the next thing I'm going to create isn't Funcraft, but it's still pretty damn cool. Uh, let's get. I'll just use up all my wooden planks here. So I'm going to put a load of wood in this shape, and then I'm going to put a feather at the top, and I think it's a glass bottle. Yeah, there you go. And you get a writing desk. Now this is Miscraft writing desk. At uh, desk, desk, and I'm going to plop it down in this corner. It's a double block. But this is your Miscraft writing desk. So I'm going to have to load some new chunks to find uh, village. But villages now spawn Miscraft villagers. So, and they sell you like pages for Miscraft. So, a bit like the Funcraft villagers, they will sell you specific stuff for Miscraft. Um, now, what do I want? I want to go to bed. And then we can start a new day tomorrow. Right. Have I got any... No, I don't. Oh, dear. Actually, while I'm here thinking about it, I could probably show you guys. I we need one of those, but... Yeah, we'll do. I'm going to get green as I call him. To make these blocks you just put a load of Zycorium crystals together or a load of Zycorium uh, ingots things. Green Zycorodi and is it green Zycorium. And then you just put one back here to get the crystals back so it's pretty cool. Um, now to do this you need to make some stone bricks and I I think you put them in this pattern. Put redstone in the middle. 
No, it's the other way around. I had a feeling I was going to get it wrong. 50-50 chance I would. Oh. Ah! I know why. I know why. You have to cook these up first. I'd forgotten about that. I only installed the new uh, Zycraft last night, so I sort of forgot a few of the recipes already. Yeah, so I made this little floor just to be posh. Put some light in here. Now, this, it needs paper, and these slots are for your research. This, well, this bar is for the aspects, so if I shift right click, it will bring up aspects there. This is what it will bring up, so the little aspects are there. And then this will be your little research note, but I will get into that once I got some paper. Right, so we got enough psychorodite for this. Didn't actually know you had to. I forgot you had to use psychorodite. Uh, one sec, guys. Okay, so I am back. And right, where was I? Psychorodite. So you can make it back into the crystals. If you put it into that pattern like I showed you before, put the stone there and then put redstone in the middle, you'll get green engineering bricks. Now, if I press U on this, it will show me the rest of the recipes. So there's fabricator, zycorium soil, uh, item IO, I don't know what that does, and a valve. So... There's also the liquid detectors. But there's a bit of restriction, but yeah, not too, too bad. I want to make this. This is awesome. I really want to make that, but I'll get to that later. So, so I can get some more Zycorodite back or Zycorium crystals. I will get rid of this flooring. And I will show you the engineering bricks. Now, quite a few of the Zycraft stuff has quite high definition uh, art on it. So, as you saw with these crystals, it is really high def to what the diamonds and all of our stuff from default Minecraft is. But the reason it can be so high definition on the textures is because it uses Forgecraft. Uh, not Forgecraft. Um... Forgecraft? No. That's the server that Direwolf plays on. Um, um, what's that called? Minecraft Forge, isn't it? Whatever. Uses Forge. <laughs> Let's just say that. It uses Forge. And uh, Forge is pretty much the mod loader for all of the mods on Feed the Beast. So if you don't have Forge installed, it's going to crash. Right, I will be back in a second when I know what else to do. Okay guys, so I am back and uh, I've just gone searching for some sugar cane and I can't find any. I've not been looking around for massively long, but I really can't find any. So, the uh, next thing I'm going to create... I think I've got enough of this. I should have. As you can see, I've got the aspect for hunger there. A bit annoying. Right, so leather, and I'm going to get some paper. I think I also need two more ink sacks. But, if I put leather in this shape, like a V, it will make me a notebook. Now, the notebook, I normally like to use two so I can keep my notes, but yeah. But the notebook is used in here for the miscraft. And if I put one, no, I need to use the binder. Okay, if I put paper up here, you'll see there's a little bar here. This needs ink, but it's specific ink. So if I go on to here, I think I think it's ink. Is it ink? Ink, ink, ink. Is that the ink? Yeah, ink vial. So to make an ink vial, you need 
ebony drops. I'm presuming they're from bees. But yeah, you need two ink sacks and one water bottle. You can also get them for black ink on the liquid transposer, but I haven't shown you that block yet. Um, yeah, so there's another thing I need to get, which is the... I think it's the binder. Yeah, there it is. The book binder. So the book binder, you need more wood and free iron at the top. So I will go make that. Get myself some iron. Uh, right. What do I want here? I'm going to get myself a few more bits of iron. To be honest, I really want to get started with thermal expansion in a minute. So make some more iron, and I need wood. Nope, not enough iron. There we go. Right, so iron at the top, as you saw, wood around there, and you get a book binder. Now, a book binder I'm going to put next to this. Oh, it feels weird not having a jetpack. I'm used to having a jetpack. And then you put leather in there. Now, this hasn't got really any uses yet, but I am going to get, I think, no, I do need ink, damn, sure I need ink, yeah I do, right, so I'm going to get some more ink. And I think it's getting dark here. Yeah, it is. Damn. But there's a little river over here, so let's hope there's some squiddy squids in here. As you can tell, I've chopped quite a bit of the forest down to build that house. Ah, there's some squids. Good you squids. Hello, mister. Get your delicious ink sacks. While I'm here, I will also fill up the glass bottle that I need. And then go running home. So, hopefully I get to show you Miscraft in a minute. I've got some books ready. So that we can make some linking books. Linking books you always need. Uh, you'll have to use them to get home. Right, so, two ink sacks. Need to use that one. And one water bottle to get an ink vial. You put the ink vial in this little slot here, and it will fill up with ink and give you the glass bottle back. So that's cool. And then I think that's about it. I'm not sure if I can. Ah, no. You can use paper. Oh, God. So if I take the paper out there, and then I put a blank piece of paper in here, it will make a uh, page but the page is blank and it will make a descriptive book so if I take out the descriptive book there um, I'm going to put my stuff in chests here I've now got some sugar cane so that's cool didn't actually realise that was there so uh, I'll put my wand back in the uh, arcane work table or bench whatever it is and then I will get myself, it's in one of these chests, there we go, a book. So, if I go into my crafting table, or my little brainy crafting table, put a book in, it will bring out a linking book. Now the linking book, make sure you always take one, otherwise you'll be trapped inside the age and you won't be able to get back. And if the age has got a lot of corruption to it, then you're going to need a linking book to get back. Uh, let's see. Chicken. Eat some food before we go, because we don't know what's going to happen. And then, actually, I can show you a little cool item. If you get some sticks, and put two there, and a piece of wood plank at the bottom you can make a book stand 
Now eventually I think these books will break. But until then, you know. Right, so you put right click the book on that and it will just automatically put it on. Right click on the book and then click on the little black spot and you will be teleported to your new dimension. So, oh this is cool. This is cool but dangerous. So if I load up the map there you'll see that we are on a tiled biome I think this is. It's got lava lakes and as you can see the sky isn't normal stars. And also the moon is up there and the sun is across there so the sun's just rising and the moon's still in mid sky. Or just going down but. So these are an ender, this is an ender star field. Um, each age has a different thing you can get. But this is an ender star field and it also has moon, I think it was mid sky when we came. And sun rising. So you can get different aspects but it, I think it's causing instability and that's why you can hear explosions. So I'm going to quickly explore. I see some sugar cane over there so I'm going to go collect that. But yeah, these ages are damn cool. I don't know what... Um, sort of place this is but it's actually quite a nice one I've had a lot lot worse I can tell you that yeah so as you can see spontaneous explosions is on this world because of the instability there's a lot of explosions but it's better than meteorites meteorites are horrible I have a feeling this has got some sort of island aspect to it but I don't know what it is now there is something I'm looking for here specifically and oh 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 I love this hey! anyway uh, yeah so you'll see I got mining fatigue free and that is another part of the instability in miscraft you can create worlds as long as you've got the pages you can create worlds that are stable but you need the pages first and believe me they are quite hard to get which is a reason why I'm exploring here and I can't actually see one on the map which is quite disappointing I'm looking for a specific building on the map but don't think I'm gonna find it. They are. They think they do de generate in the overworld as well, but I haven't found one up to yet. But they are buildings that spawn in. Look at all this sugar cane. They spawn in pages inside, and you can use the pages in your research. I always like making two copies just to uh, make sure if I use one by mistake, the other pages will be there so I can make another copy and it won't delete all the pages from existence <laughs> yeah but I can't find one here so I'm going to use the linking book now if I use that book again it'll spawn me back over where we spawned in the first place but I'm going to right click on the book with my hand and right click on this uh, left click on the blue bit and it will spawn me back where I was so yeah but that was a pretty cool age I uh, not gonna lie there. It's one of the better ones that I've found. So I'm gonna make a chest. And I'm going to put in it. Uh take you out of there. Miscraft I have found to be a little bit buggy. Um with like the inventories, it's nothing too too annoying, but it can be a little bit. I'm going to put the book stang there. So that's my little miscraft corner. So I'm going to put any of the books that I get in this chest. Now, the next thing we want to work on, I'm going to go to bed. And I think I... No, I don't. Damn. Oh, that's a bit of a bugger. Oh, skelly. Don't want to go to you. Oh, God, there's another one there. Help me! Now, I want, no, correction, I don't want, I need, hmm, I 
I need cows. Where can I find cows? Uh, as you'll see in the top right I on uh, Ray's minimap or whatever it is, Zen's minimap, whichever one I'm using. Um, it is Ray's minimap, but it also has Zen's on it. I have got... Oh, sugar. I have got slime chunks on, so it'll show you where the uh, slimes spawn. I can also put Entity Radar on, but I am leaving that off. Because it feels a bit overpowered, so you know where enemies actually are. So I'm leaving that off as of now. And all I can find is sheep. This is getting annoying. Oh God, hello. Yeah, this is getting a little bit annoying. But I am going to uh, cut the recording until I can find some cows. Uh, or something uh, more interesting than cows, which I might still find. So I'm going to cut it here and I'll be back in a minute. Well guys, I'm a bit annoyed. I haven't found any cows and I haven't actually found any um, anything interesting either. So a uh, bit annoyed about that. As you can see, my house is just off to the left, but I'm going to continue right. See if I can find any cows up here. But yeah, I haven't found anything. As you can see, I've found a pig. <laughs> so that was nice to see. But, um, yeah, not really found anything that's particularly of interest. I really want to get a few of these beehives. I want to start with um, forestry beekeeping. And I've been practicing on my other world, and I've came across with a few cool breeds. I'm going to get some more feathers from you, mister. Yeah, all I've came across is cows, lots and lots and lots of sheep. Uh, chickens and yeah, not uh, not cows. I meant pigs, not cows. Chickens and sheep. Tons of sheep. Hit the sheep. Ah, found it. You can see that little dot I'm going towards on the map, the black one near the red tiles. I have a feeling that I'll be on a high rise like they normally are. That. Is an awesome structure, but I'm more likely to get killed. Uh, yeah, so... How am I going to get up to this? How am I going to get up this? Yeah, but this is a fun craft structure. I'm going to tell you that now. And it is quite dangerous, so I'm going to... Eat these. Let's hope it... No, it doesn't. Damn it. I was hoping it would generate enough food for me. Hello mister, you come to give me some more food? Thank you! <laughs> yeah, so you can see, oh, there's a wisp. Yeah. So, this is a Filmcraft structure, it's got a chest on it. Oh god! They s decided to spawn in these again. That's typical. But it's meant to spawn in wisps like that and they're meant to attack you. What we got in here? We got Fasted, we got saddles, lots of buckets, a helmet, fire aspect one book, and some ingots. So I'm going to put the helmet on. Not the best thing I've ever seen, but underneath this there is a spawner, which is why the zombie pigmen are here. But in Filmcraft 3.0.3, uh, they updated it so that it didn't spawn pigmen anymore, it spawned wisps. And wisps are a lot, lot more dangerous than pigmen because pigmen, well, they don't really attack you unless you attack them. But wisps attack you for absolutely no reason. So yeah, so I got some fast dead bees, which is awesome. They, I haven't actually found a breed for them yet. Get some of these quicksilvers. I haven't actually found a specific breed for them because I haven't got any of my other single player word, uh, world yet, so I've actually done better already. And I've just gone around the wrong side of my house. Well done me. So, right. I am going to cook up two more gold, a ton of iron. I've got the redstone there. So, Ah, I know what I want. I know what I want. 
Yeah, I was hoping to find cows to make some more books, but unfortunately I can't find any. So instead, the first thing I'm going to create... Um, actually, I'll do that after I've made this. Oh, I've already got some ingots anyway. Okay, right, so I'm going to need redstone, copper. I think I'm going to need a piston. So I will get some wood out of here. Oh, I got some cobble. Yes, I got some cobble. Right, so I'm going to make myself two pistons. And I didn't make the wood. Damn it! Okay, right, wood at the top. Two redstone beneath. Two iron. And... There we go. Pistons. So... What I am making... Let me make two loads of these. And put these in a... Um, the shape to make gears. Now I'm going to make two gears. And then you're going to want to surround them with cobblestone. To make stone gears. Now the first thing I'm going to make, if I've got some glass here is an engine. Now, engines are from Buildcraft. And you want the gears at the bottom, each side. You want cobblestone all at the top. Uh, you want glass in the middle, middle. And then you want a piston at the bottom to make a sterling engine. So now that I've made the sterling engine, I'm going to get my iron. And then I'm going to put a gold ingot in the middle and then either side at the bottom and the top I'm going to put redstone to make a redstone reception coil right one sec guys okay so now that I've got my redstone reception coil I want to put I think I've got the components no I haven't what am I doing need one two three four of that right so I want to put gold in the middle again and then I want to surround it with glass and then surround that with iron to make a machine frame now you put the machine frame in the middle there's quite a few things you can make with the machine frame so um, if I press U on this it'll show you all the machines from thermal expansion uh, you can make a pulverizer a powered furnace Induction smelter and a sawmill, liquid transposer, magma crucible. Yeah, but we'll get to some of this later on in the uh, series. Aqueous accumulators are cool. You pretty much put two water source blocks either side and it will accumulate more water. So that's cool. Uh, but what we are making is a pulverizer. So I'm going to press this question mark and it will bring the recipe into here. So if I put copper either side at the bottom. I just realised I don't have any flint. Oh no! I never found any flint. I'm sure I found flint. Oh, bugger. Right. Well then. <laughs> I am quickly going to get myself some flint. And then I will return to you with the pulverizer. Okay, so I am back with my flint. Two flint there. I uh, went mining, found some gravel, so flint there. Machine frame at the top, reception coil underneath, piston at the top. At uh, top. I mean, um, reception coil at the bottom. Nope, oh, don't want you there. And then copper either side to make your pulverizer. Now, I made this sterling engine, um... You'll need more than one, really, because otherwise it's not really very quick. But, if you know IC2, then you'll know what a macerator does, or macerator. But if I put the pulverizer here, uh, take you up, oh, bugger, and put you there, and if I supply this with, let's put two coal in for now. 
I will have to power this. There you go, got a little lever. And you have to uh, put a redstone current to this to make it work. So this is the pulverizer interface. Now, first thing you'll notice is there are different colored blocks here. Now, yellow is a, I think it's the output slot for this. As you can see, it's gaining power. This takes mega joules from Buildcraft, and I think that's all it takes. Max input you can put is four. Uh, but yeah, it needs quite a lot. <coughs> but it's not using any power at the moment, so. Uh, you can also make sure that it activates straight away, or you'll need a redstone signal to activate it. Um, yeah, but this is a lot like a macerator. If I uh, look up or macerator, I don't know which way it is said. If I look up the recipe for this, with Greg Tech, it takes hell of a lot. Uh, you need four flint, three diamonds, machine frame or whatever, and an advanced circuit. So it's a very expensive. Which is why I've made this one. So if I put my iron in here. As you can see, the blue slot, if I put a blue slot at the top, and I had a hopper, which I might be able to make, no. but if you got like a chest at the top and you put a load of um, ore in the chest, it will pull it out and put it into this slot, and then if you put another chest here, it will output this into that chest. So yeah, this is a like a macerator, for every one ore you put in, you get two dust back. So I'll stick that in there. But it is very slow with Sterling Engine, and as you'll see, it's only just keeping up at 800. <coughs> so, yeah. That's the pulverizer. It is pretty cool. Right, the next thing I'm going to create is a cauldron from default vanilla Minecraft. And I'm going to... First of all, I'm going to get myself a new pick, because mine broke. So, I'm going to use green sapphire. These used to be emerald. And place them at the top. Make a cool pickaxe. Now, these pickaxes, they... Um, uh, the sapphires and rubies and stuff are quite reasonably easy to find. They're not too, too hard. Bugger, I'll just trap myself in there. Uh, right. I'm going to want... Let's put that there. And then I'm going to put the cauldron here. Now, I do want lava underneath it eventually, but until I um, find lava... Actually... Actually... I can find lava. If I make myself another linking book. Stand on this block. Make myself a linking book, because I won't be able to find the other one. Whee! Now, if I get one of my buckets. Now, where's the lava source? Lava source is over here. How did I miss that? Get myself two buckets of lava. I think that'll do. Still hear those explosions going off. And then use the linking book to get back. Uh, eh. oh, still got the mining fatigue from the age. It's a bit annoying, but, you know, it'll go away. And then I'm going to put the lava down there and cover back, back up. Now, I am going to get my magic wand. Or the wand of the apprentice. And right click on this and it will make it into a Fumic Crucible. Now, with the Fumic Crucible, I need stuff to research first, so... Let's have a look. What have we got we can research? We have got coal. And I'm going to show you some Fumcraft items. I'm going to take the paper out of here, we don't really need that, actually. I don't need to take the paper out of there, I can make some more. So yeah, you can use this table as a normal crafting bench. But 
if you leave an item in there, it won't pop out like a normal crafting bench, it'll just stay there. So that's cool. Right. Get this. And put some paper at the bottom here, where that little outline is for it. And then you'll see the magnifying glass comes up. So if I leave it on Curiosity, Curiosity has more of a chance um, to not Right, has less of a chance to lose the item, but it has less of a chance to research. So, you'll see if I click on the magnifying glass there, it'll come up with a research note and a obscurus, which is unknown and obscured. And if I write, uh, if I click on it again, as you see, one of the items went. But if I put this onto Furrow. It, uh, it will take the items a lot more quicker, but it will actually find the thing a lot quicker. It's not actually finding it. Ah, oh, there you go. You have to click quite a few times to get it, and you have to lose quite a few items to get the research done. That wasn't what I expected to find. You can research those now? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to check something off camera sec. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I found out what it was. It's very annoying. I had to go in cheat mode there to get into creative to check it. But, um... For some reason, the world files registered that Filmcraft's still from my other world. So, I'm going to sort that between episodes. And hopefully I will uh, have different stuff next episode. So I won't be able to research it this episode, but it's a shame, but I will have to research it next episode instead. I'm going to put my stuff in here. I'm going to get my sugar cane and stick it out the front here because I had a little plot ready for it. So that the sugar cane will grow. Uh, and the sun's going down. So I guess this has been a pretty long episode. I'm not sure how long I've been recording for. But there's one more thing I want to do before I go off. Get myself some water. I should get myself some more water. There we go. Uh, got enough of those. I don't know. Whoa! Bugger! 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 There goes my lever. Yeah, so that's enough for that. Cook that up. Right, so if I right click with a water bucket on this uh, crucible, it will add water. And with the lava underneath it, it acts like a, ho a uh, horse, a source block, and it will start boiling. Now, I haven't actually got any research done yet, which I can't show you what you can do, but you pretty much throw things with aspects. So I'm shifting, right clicking to look at the aspects on here. Ooh. It's useful something foul. Oh, that's different. I've never had that come up before. That's new. I did not know that. I'm scared now. <laughs> I hate to think what it was. the hell? Is that a zombie? Okay, yeah, I see what it means. Oh, shit. It spawned a giant thing in. I didn't know that could happen. Holy shit. Oh, God. Hello. Mummy! 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 Um. 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 Uh. Okay, well, that's a new thing I didn't know existed. Nope. 
Is it still alive or has it died? I didn't even know that could happen. Holy shit. Well then. That's uh, certainly a end to an episode. God, I'm scared now. I don't want that to happen again. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so, <laughs> hell of an end to an episode. Me dying from a giant angry zombie. Now, where was I? Yeah, um, you can throw the aspects in here. That didn't have anything on it, which is a bit annoying. Um, and it'll start having the bubbles in different colour. And then you right click with your wand once you've got the aspects that you need and you can create stuff. But until next episode, I can't really get into that because Funecraft's messed up. As I could tell from the massive zombie outside my door that killed me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I think I'm not sure. I know I said I was going to end the episode, but I want to do one little thing before we go. N nearing blocks. Yeah, I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Yep, I'm going to do one more thing before I end this episode. I'm going to get this stone out of here. I'm going to get four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four of you. <coughs> I need one little block. Now I'm going to show you what the. Actually, I don't want two of those, I want one of those. There we go. I'm going to show you what the engineering blocks can make. So, I need redstone. Yeah, I am really excited to get into um, Zycraft now that the update's been out. Make some more engineering blocks here. And then put them like that. Put an iron block in the mid. Uh, an iron thing in the middle. Zycorium. Uh, is that Zycorium? Yeah, Zycorium soil. Now, this block. You can pretty much place anywhere, I do believe. So I'm going to place it here, for example, and then put another one on top of it. And as you can see, it's got a little leaf. And then place that on top, and it will start to grow. Not as quick as it would if you had like 64 underneath it. But you can literally put as many as you want, and things can instantly grow. So um, it acts like soil. You don't need to put water around it, uh, which you would need to do with most sugar cane. So that is a cool item, but I'm going to uh, dig down here, just so I don't have to go outside and get it. <laughs> I could also, I think, grow trees on here, for example, uh, get myself a sapling, where is it, there it is. And I can place trees! So that's cool if you want to make a really underground world um, that like generates your crops and your sugar cane without any water or anything. So that is a really cool block. I look forward to using these in the future. And yeah, so I've got quite a bit done on Mistcraft and a little bit done on Funcraft. As I say, I will get that stuff sorted out. Um, Thermal expansion I got into, a little bit of buildcraft, nothing much on either of those parts. And, yeah. So, ending the episode. Hopefully no more giant zombies next episode. And, yeah, so. I thought I heard something. Never mind. It must have been my imagination. So, I'm going to end the episode here, and I will see you guys... Oh yeah, one more thing, jump in this, and as you can see, the bubbles are now pink, that's got meat in it, because I just jumped in there, and um, 
I am made of meat, apparently. Well, of course I am, but I'm also made of blocks, so... Yeah, you can get specific aspects from jumping in, but it'll take down quite a bit of damage. You can also hear the sound effects there. So, I'm going to end the episode here, finally. <laughs> and I will hopefully, next episode, I want to get into forestry. And get some bees. Now, some of you guys might not like beekeeping. Uh... I never used to, until I actually dug into it myself, I didn't, but it, I found out that it is a really cool mod and you can get so many different combs in, with extra bees and uh, fun craft bees. So, yep, ending the episode on episode 2, and I will see you guys next time. Cheerio.